Hello everybody. Today we're going to be going over the new living roadmap for Beyond the Wire. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another Beyond the Wire update as I'll be trying to cover all the major announcements and updates to the game for you guys. Now, here we have our living roadmap. First, we have an overview of what was released at launch of Early Access, which includes the French, German, and American factions, as well as the Zonabeek, Anson Court, and Freeze maps. In December of 2020, the new content they'll be releasing includes a map based on the Battle of Cantini, which was the first major offensive carried out by the American Expeditionary Force on May 28, 1918. Based on the screenshot in the dev blog, it appears we'll be getting something more like Anson Court with some buildings mixed in, but we'll have to wait to see what RSI has cooked up for us in December. The next thing on the list is the shooting range, a pretty basic addition. Also in December, we get optimization to maps, the UI, and they'll be coming out with some bug fixes. So all good stuff, and I'm glad to see the addition of a new map so soon. Hopefully that'll shake things up and make people want to come back to the game for a bit longer, at least until their next update, which is in quarter one of next year, and that's what we're covering next. So here you can see this is Operation 2 for King and Country, set to be released in quarter one of 2021. Two new factions will be added, including the British Expeditionary Force and a sub-faction, the Harlem Hellfighters. Also known as the 369th Infantry Regiment, they were an African American regiment which actually served with the AEF and French forces in World War I. They will be an option for the American Expeditionary Force on select maps. Three new maps will also be added with this operation, including Saint Thierry, Seychalt, and Paul Capel. In next operations, it also says that there will be new maps, new factions, and a new game mode, which is something I think could be very useful to replayability, so I'm very excited to see what RSI has in store for the new game mode, and I'm really happy to see this much content coming to be on the wire only a few months after the launch of Early Access. That's it for the roadmap. The only other thing I will add is in this dev blog, it does mention that there will be more weaponry coming after the Operation 2, which is not mentioned on the roadmap itself, so I figured I'd throw it in there. Really, that's all I had for you today. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what color of socks you wear. Mine are usually black. And follow me on Twitch, where I stream games like Beyond the Wire and Squad, and more at twitch.tv slash Richard Chipper. Links in the description if you're watching this um, as it comes out. I may actually be streaming right now, so go click that link. Come say hi. Um, and anyways, that's all I've got for you. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.